It's easy to speak out of the way I live But it's a 24 karat dream No supermodel in my dirty jeans But in my 24 inches heels I am not pretending I'm born like this again for the Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be cleaning this complete disaster of a house. It is such a mess and we are gonna be tackling some of the areas of my house that need cleaning, bathrooms, bedrooms, living room, kitchen, you name it, we're cleaning it. If you're new to my channel, consider checking out my page and hitting that subscribe button. I do weekly videos on cleaning, I do weekly vlogs, and then I throw something else in there. Motherhood, hauls, lifestyle, all kinds of stuff. So check out my channel and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, welcome back and thank you guys so much for all my new subscribers. I've been enjoying chatting with you guys and getting to know you and just building a community here on YouTube. It's really been a lot of fun. I am a stay-at-home mom, and to be honest with you, sometimes it can be very lonely uh, and isolating when you're only talking to kids all day and you have a husband that works many, many hours. So it's just been so much fun getting to know you guys and chatting with you guys. No, I don't really care, I don't really care, yeah Cause boy, it's none of your business If I'm a mad woman I don't know about you guys, but this is definitely my least favorite thing to do is to clean toilets. But somebody's got to do it, right? But I just spray that thing completely down and then I scrub it from top to bottom. <laughs> I've been loving using these gloves. I bought these at Burlington. They're so cute and I just feel like I can clean a lot better when I have them on. Um, and when I'm done with them, I always just really scrub them really good and let them soak. And this is a new product that I've tried. This is the first time I'm using it. It's called Kaboom by OxyClean and I love it. <laughs> you spray it on and it's all purple and then when it's ready to be cleaned it turns white so I really liked it I feel like it got the bathroom clean really well and it was also um, very pleasing to the eye I'll have to say <laughs> Once I'm done with the bathroom, I move into the living room. This area has just um, got very cluttered. I have laundry everywhere and it just needs a really good deep clean and vacuum. All I do is 
And you'll notice in this video, I'm cleaning the walls a lot downstairs. And this is an area that has been um, bothering me a lot lately. Um, just if furniture touches the walls or the kids put their hands on the walls, they just get so easily dirty and mucky and it's just been driving me nuts. So after I filmed this, about a week later, I did a deep cleaning of this living room and I did some paint touch up and I moved the entire um, sofa out. So stay tuned for that video. That'll be coming out pretty soon. Um, I just... <clears throat> I, if, if the room is bothering me a lot and I after I clean it and I'm still not satisfied then I know that I have to really just get in there more deep and get the walls painted and it's something that my husband's always like why do you have to do that you know but once I got done painting he's like it feels so much better in here it's so much brighter it look feels so much cleaner it just makes such a big difference especially when the walls get so dirty. So let me know in the comments below if you are the type of person that gets annoyed by the walls being dirty or if that's something that doesn't bother you at all. Um, I know for me and having four kids my do my walls just get so dirty sometimes especially going up and down the steps that's definitely an area too that um, I struggle with so let me know in the comments below and what do you do to tackle those areas do you touch up paint do you just clean it do you leave it what do you do Here on the couch, I have a ton of loads of laundry. I have the girls' toys. With four kids, you kind of accumulate a lot of stuff. Honestly, with a baby, <laughs> you you get like these giant toys. You have the swing, you have the bouncer seat, then I have that little slide for her to climb on. So it just it takes up a lot of space. But um, I'm getting rid of everything as she grows out of it. And today was especially nice because I was able to get rid of the swing. You'll see later in the video that I carry that downstairs and I got that off to our local consignment shop to give to another family. And I'm just wiping down this leather couch. I have had this couch for several years we bought it um, brand new and I gotta tell you this is the most comfortable couch in the world it may not be the most like eye appealing but it is so comfortable and I was pregnant when we bought it and all I had to do was sit on it one time and I was like this is it <laughs> this is the one so it's leather it fits all of us so we're gonna keep it for a few more years because I know that if I get a new couch I'll be stressed out and about the kids like jumping on it and as much as I tell them not to any kid that comes into our house automatically jumps on our couch I don't know why it like must look like a trampoline to them in their eyes but that's just what they do so we were considering buying a new one um, last year and I told my husband I said no let's just keep this one get through these toddler years and um, we'll get one in a few more years we don't need it now And moving on 
gone into the kitchen it was just a complete disaster in here there's just stuff everywhere it needed to be scrubbed mopped clean swept everything all the things <laughs> it just needed it on this particular day um, my husband had gone and got pizza for the boys on his way home from picking them up and since I was you know since I was cleaning he did that and there is Mona she's so cute such a good baby <laughs> So since I'm a stay at home mom, I think this area is just used so much throughout the day that it just is like a revolving door in our home. It just gets messy easily. And a lot of times it's not even that it's dirty. It's just that there's cups all over the place and crayons because that's where the kids do a lot of their art is on the counter. There's just, it's just always stuff. You know, so I always try to have a home for everything. That's my goal in my house. I'm constantly working on that, making sure we have a, a home for things and constantly getting rid of stuff. That is something that I do in just about every cleaning video I have. I get at least one or two things. Usually it's a lot more than that, but I really do try to just get rid of as much as possible because. As a family of six, it's just sometimes it feels like we accumulate so much stuff. We get gifts from our family, you know, we have so much artwork, um, not artwork, but art supplies. It just, it can be a lot. So anytime I can get rid of something, um, I do it. <laughs> if you listen to anything in this video this is it <laughs> this is the tip I have for you this cleaner is a game changer for your sink I bought this many months ago and I was using it even before I um, started my YouTube channel in my uh, um, in my sink and I couldn't find it they had run out of it on Amazon and because normally I buy it in like a squeeze bottle and I couldn't find it and I finally got it back on order I found it in this tub um, so it was a little different but it, it cleans the same and look at this look how dirty and disgusting our sinks are <gasps> so and I am constantly cleaning my sink because I heard one time that your sink can be dirtier than your toilet I don't know how true that is but when I found this stuff and I heard that it works so well in your sink and then I tried it for myself I was like just I was sold I think it's like 11 or 12 dollars on Amazon which seems a pretty pricey for a cleaning product but <clears throat> it was just look at that it was so worth it to me to have that clean sink and that's another thing in my house that you know I you know kind of annoys me when that when the sink is so dirty you know and that was the first time I used it um, I had just bought it there and I used it for the first time so it was disgusting on that paper towel. That was disgusting. And I clean my sink all the time. So if you're the same as me, you like a clean, clean sink, I highly recommend buying that stuff. I don't even know how to say that, the name of that stuff, but I'll try to leave a link below if I can. Um, if not, I, I did buy it on Amazon.
So it's dinner time now and this is one thing I try to do every night is get our coffee prepped for the next morning. It just makes my mornings much smoother and I'm heating up some leftovers from the night before. That is green curry and I was going to make a salad too. I had some eggs boiling and I'm just cleaning up over here. This is where we have all our art supplies and Mona is 10 months old and she sometimes she climbs over here and kind of gets into everything and pulls it out and makes a mess so i'm just <laughs> cleaning that back up Somewhere deep in my mind See the barbed wire The place is grown all wide Cause I don't know if it'll be enough Or if they really care There's a still And I recently went out and I bought a new mop and a new broom Got some more cleaning supplies I'm pretty excited um, Last night I just bought this new cleaning supply at Walmart it looks and smells amazing I have yet to try it so I'm really excited about that so stay tuned for that I think it's a new product it's all natural organic it it, it looks really cool so I really am excited to use that I don't know why I'm excited to use cleaning products but that's my life right now <laughs> And this particular week, I got so behind on the laundry. I try to make sure that I do two loads of laundry a day and have it folded and put away. Um, but you know how it is. Sometimes that just doesn't happen. And I got really behind and I was determined to get all this laundry folded and put away. And I hate when I do this to myself because it's just... I, it just create more work for myself if I would just fold it and get it put away as I do it or just don't even put it in the washer because if I know I'm not gonna be able to get to it that would just be a lot easier but you know how it is we have a large family and laundry's got to get done so I try to do two loads of laundry um, Monday through Friday Sometimes it, you know, sometimes it doesn't happen, but that's my goal. I try to do that. Awaken my spirit now. You got me thinking, whoa, I don't know how we got here. You'll notice in this, like, you know, folding my laundry clip <laughs> is that Mona is on the floor and she keeps getting to the camera, so she keeps trying to move it. So there's <laughs> little spots where it's a little jiggly. But I am folding all of our laundry the KonMari method. Um, I watched her show on Netflix back in January, Tidying Up. And I had read her book a few years ago and kind of went through the KonMari phase. But I just, you know, seeing it on film and watching that show inspired me to kind of change the way I fold all of our clothes because we were struggling with the drawers. Um, when I would go to put away everybody's laundry, it was just a mess. You couldn't see anything. And the way you fold your clothes, um, KonMari method, is you can see everything that's in your drawer. And I am loving it. I, it has made putting away laundry a lot 
um, less stressful for me, I guess. Okay guys, if you like this video, um, leave me a comment below, give me a thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button. I have another cleaning video coming out in a few days um, where I am deep cleaning my living room, doing some paint touch up, I'm shampooing the carpets, moving that monster of a couch, <laughs> and just getting it really cleaned in there. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.